Cheers, and welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Yes, I'm back from Asheville. Been there for over a week, spent three days in White Labs, training from about nine to a little after three every day. Had a blast, learned more than my brain could probably physically absorb, but definitely enjoyed it. If you're considering going to White Labs, White Labs training, or just going to White Labs in Asheville or San Diego, I went to the one in Asheville. There were trainers from San Diego in Asheville and brewers, but, um. This is the video you'll definitely want to check out. Plus I got some more coming that are revolving around some of the knowledge I learned and White Labs and who should go and why. Don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely appreciate it. First and foremost, right up front, a special thank you going out to all of the staff at White Labs. Everybody there is super nice, very helpful. Um, teachers, huge wealth of knowledge. Some of them seem like they got PhDs and microbiology is just insane amount of knowledge they have and how much they share. That was great. Special thank you going out to Eric, Devin, Kelly, and Craig. Definitely appreciate you all. Great, great information. Um, I mean, come on, where else can you go to school, beer related school, have great food, great beer, all at the same time? I mean, come on, <laughs> that was freaking awesome. Um, I met a lot of great guys and gals, mainly from beer breweries, but also, I had a fellow home brewer there, a sake distiller, if I'm saying that correctly, and several nice people from Jim Beam. It's kind of cool, Jim Beam's so big, but they're still focusing on continuing education for their employees, which is just awesome. Even had a gentleman from Poland who had moved to UK to work at a brewery and was sent over to White Labs for additional knowledge and training. Just amazing people, great people to hang out with, learn. Um, definitely every day I, I was walking to breweries on the way home trying to remember what I learned. You go through in two days, yeah, it's only two days of training. There's a third day and I'll explain. Yeah, it's like a book and a half worth of knowledge. And not everything applies specifically to maybe something you were looking to do or need to know, but it's very all encompassing, encompassing if I can even speak. Um, I did expect the trainers to be knowledgeable, but honestly, the knowledge level was much, much higher than I expected, a great deal higher. And what was really cool is they didn't judge. I mean, you, very open to answering questions, um, of course, yeast related, because that's all we were there for, really. Um, I don't know if anybody asked questions beyond that. <laughs> so they even admitted to having some problems in their brewing process and learning how to fix it and explaining that and sharing that knowledge with us. And I've got to tell you, Documentation, documentation, documentation. Yeah, um, just a few tiny items that we went over just kind of literally scratched the surface. We went over things like forced disotel test, forced wort test, common brewing contaminations, how to identify them, um, gram staining, yeast colony streaking, yeast cell counting, which was something huge for me. And I know you can watch a YouTube video on that, but I promise you, you will not get even close to the amount of knowledge, understanding, and full comprehension of doing it and doing it correctly. I, I've watched those videos, trust me. I learned more in a, just a few hours with the experts who do it every day of their lives. So huge, huge there. Um, determining yeast viability calculations, yeast pitching calculations, aseptic techniques. I know Kelly's like, yeah, he remembered that one. Um, yeah, I mean, I always have my star sand nearby, but I will probably need two bottles now and maybe even take a shower in that stuff, you know. Don't know if I can handle PBW, but maybe some watered down star sand. I might feel a little bit better. But yeah, and you go over the list on the, what they're gonna teach you, and it's just literally a very, very high level look down. And you spend two days understanding, learning, getting some lab experience. There is a third day if you sign up for that. The third day is where they're gonna go over some additional things, including a little Six Sigma troubleshooting, but you get to kind of pick what you wanna learn more about and they work directly with you. So you can just keep learning and learning and fully comprehending. And yes, I'm that person who asks the most questions probably everywhere I go, but I'm also one of those people who I'm not shy and I wanna make sure I fully understand and comprehend what's being said and any kind of comparisons I have in my head are lining up with the correct information. It's just the way I am. Sorry. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you again for joining Bitter Reality Brewing. And I'm telling you, even if you just stop by White Labs to have some pizza, it's made with Vike yeast, the, the dough. 
not, not the whole pizza, but um, yeah, food was amazing. Beer was amazing. The people working there were amazing. Definitely appreciate it. Definitely one of my go-tos every time I'm in Asheville, hoping to get back there soon. Thank you. Cheers.